Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this HTC Desire 526G Plus and in this video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at this device. And quite a few of you have asked me to review this uh, device. So I just purchased it and I purchased this one from Flipkart in India and this is a Dulcim variant. And regarding the pricing, the price here quoted on the box is 12,990 but this product is available on Flipkart for 10,400 and um, the good thing is that I also got these things in the package. Uh, this is a screen guard and also a back case that I got for free. Uh, so if you're purchasing this item from Flipkart, please use my link. It does help the channel and here it gives us a brief idea about the specs and this is the 16 GB model that we have and it is powered by an octa-core processor that's clocked at 1.7 gigahertz but it's a MediaTek chipset. It is a dual SIM device and it says that we have the 16 gig model. RAM is 1 gigabyte and it has 8 megapixel rear facing camera and a 2 megapixel front facing camera. So let's open this up and we have the HTC logo again and this is the device itself we'll come back to this a bit later and uh, underneath this we have a pamphlet that shows you how to insert the SIM card and the micro SD card safety and regulatory guide let me actually also sh show you the SAR rating the SAR rating quoted here is 0.995 for the head and for the body is 0.693 we get standard accessories this is the um, usb cable and uh, this is the headset that we get and this is the power brick let me open the power brick and show you and this is again htc branded and it is a one amp uh, charger that we are getting so here is the battery and it is a 2000 uh, milliamp hour battery that we are getting so here is the device itself let's just take this out and uh, without the battery it feels pretty light and it says that we can open the back cover so let's do that and it opens easily we have it in here and we can add our sim cards uh, sim 1 goes here sim 2 goes uh, here and a micro sd card so we'll just add one sim for now and also a micro sd card and let's pop in the battery and let's do the first boot for this device and the back is glossy plastic so will be a fingerprint magnet but let's try to do the first boot before that let me give you a physical overview on the top we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack and uh, here looks like uh, this is the volume rocker and this is the power on off button Moving towards the bottom, we have the main microphone, micro USB slot that will be used for charging, the indent uh, to open the back cover, and on this end, actually nothing. Uh, Raid facing camera is an 8 megapixel shooter uh, with LED flash, and the front facing camera is a 2 megapixel shooter. So let's try to do the first boot for this device. Uh, initial feel, I would say the buttons are not very clicky, at least the power button, and we have the HTC branding here. And it has a front firing dual speaker setup, one at the bottom, one at the top. So let me quickly just set this up. And it quickly connected to my Wi-Fi network. We'll add our Google account later on. And uh, I'll just hit next. We can transfer our stuff if you already have a HTC device. And I'll just hit next. And it sports a 4.7 inch screen and we have that blink feed. And uh, it's a QHD screen, that means the resolution is 540 by 960 pixels. That comes to a PPF 234. And it runs HTC Sense UI. Let's just go here. Let's hit this. Oops. So we have nothing here. Let's uh, go to the settings. And brightness, we have the auto brightness sensor on this device, as you can see. Oops, it went away. So you can set it on manual or auto brightness as you wish. So, so that's nice. And let's go to the settings and look at about the device. And as you can see, it's running on KitKat. That is 4.4.2. 4 
uh, let's look at the internal storage and uh, we have touch type capacitive buttons so we don't have any physical buttons on this device let's look at the storage uh, this is the 16 gig model that we have and uh, the good thing is that we can set the storage to internal storage or the SD card and out of that 16 gigs we have 11.49 gigabytes of space available to us but as I mentioned, we can also add a SD card and actually set the storage to SD card. That means uh, most of the apps will install directly to the SD card. So in terms of storage, you shouldn't have a problem with this device. And uh, let's look at the apps. And we have this. Let's go to custom alphabetic. Uh, so we have uh, quite a few th third party apps like clean master installed. Even file manager is there. We have flashlight. As you can see, that works. So a lot of third party uh, apps are actually pre-installed. We also have the FM radio, so that's nice. So if you listen to radio, you have that option. And as we are connected, let's fire up the Chrome web browser and see how it handles it. Uh, let's just go to, let me accept this. And let's just go to readf.com. This is the standard keyboard that we have. As of now, it's smooth. I'm not very sure if it has Gorilla Glass. And again, as you can see, it's, it loaded the website uh, fairly quickly. Let's open up one of the stories. For example, let's open this record story. Again, as you can see, it loaded it pretty quickly. So it looks like in terms of web browsing, it should be decent. And this is the multitasking uh, tray. So you can just swipe away or just use this to switch between the apps. It has just one gig of RAM, but as of now, uh, it's handling it pretty well, I would say. But considering the price, I feel it's decent. Let's also quickly look at the camera on this device. It's an eight megapixel shooter. So let me bring in some objects and this is the default interface that we gave it we have the tap to focus and it takes the snap even without tapping you can take but i feel to get the best focus you got to tap again as you can see this came out a little bit blurry but the initial photographs we were using the tap to focus and these came out actually pretty decent but i will be testing the camera a lot more in my full review so that's it for now for this very quick unboxing of this htc desire 526g plus if you have any specific questions around this device do post them in the youtube comments and i'll try to include them in my review